with the leaves falling on the trees and weather turning a little bit colder, everyone wants some comfort food. Today on Jay's World Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make this amazing treat. These are pumpkin cupcakes and they're absolutely delicious and so easy to make. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of coarse salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter of a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, one packed cup of light brown sugar, one cup of granulated sugar, a cup of unsalted butter which has been melted and then slightly cooled, four large eggs which are slightly beaten, and one can of pumpkin puree. To start this recipe, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line a 24 cup tray with paper liners or if you have two 12s, that's fine too, and set those aside. And it really is quite simple to throw this together. It doesn't take very long at all. You're gonna start off in a medium bowl with your flour and most of your dry ingredients. So all of your spices and your baking soda and baking powder and salt. And already you can smell that wonderful pumpkin spice smell. And you're just gonna quickly whisk that all together just so that it's well blended. And now we're going to set that aside and move into a larger bowl. Now in this bowl, we're going to start off by placing our white sugar and then our brown sugar. Quickly whisk those together a little just to make sure that we've got no clumps in there. It doesn't have to be perfect because our liquids are going to help break some of this down as well. And now we're going to add in our egg. Give that a good whisk. We're going to add in our butter. And once those are well whisked together and nice and smooth, we're going to slowly add in our dry ingredients that we mixed together earlier and just make sure it's nice and smooth. And once we've got a nice sort of creamy mixture like that, we're going to add in our pumpkin puree. Now, just a note here, make sure that you're using puree and not pie filling. They are very different. So you want to make sure that it's just a pumpkin puree. Give that a good whisk. Once our batter is nice and smooth, we're going to start putting this into each cup individually and fill it about halfway. Now, I'm using this wonderful little contraption that allows me to very easily dispense this in quantities that I want to without dripping. And once all of your cups are filled, you're going to pop that into your 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the tops are nice and springy and a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. And while that's in the oven, we're going to very quickly put together a cream cheese frosting. For the cream cheese frosting, you're going to need a half a cup of unsalted butter that's at room temperature one brick of cream cheese, which is softened and again at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and four cups of powdered sugar. And really, this is quite simple. Using a stand mixer, or if you wanted to ready, you could use a hand mixer. I'm using the stand mixer because it's just so much quicker and easier. And we're just going to put in our butter and our cream cheese. And we're just going to mix that until it's smooth and then add in our vanilla and our salt. And once those have sort of started blending together, we're going to add in our icing sugar a little bit at a time until the whole lot comes together. Mm -hmm. 
and it's as simple as that. Now we wait for our cupcakes to come out of the oven and to cool completely before we ice them. So the whole house has got that wonderful fall pumpkin spice aroma in it and the cupcakes turn out perfectly. They're nice and sort of soft and, and moist and I, very, very spongy and the frosting on top just looks so good and creamy. I can't wait to try this. Oh man. So I love the immediate pumpkin and pumpkin spice flavor that comes out of that. It's not overpowering, but it's very nice and very sort of subtle. There's just this wonderful taste of that amazing pumpkin spice that everyone loves so much and that creamy, cheesy, frosting is just out of this world. That's a perfect combination. You have to try this. And if you did, I'd love to hear from you on the comment section below how these turned out for you. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and remember to turn on notifications so that you know when my next video drops. Remember too that you can follow me on all of my social media, and those links are below in the comment section as well. If you would like to see some more of my treats and snacks recipes, click on this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy eating. <music>